Tonight, we are learning new details on a sinkhole that opened up at Bush Gardens, spilling millions of gallons of wastewater. 10 Tampa Bay's Shannon Clo joins us live from Bush Gardens right now. And Shannon, what are experts now saying in terms of environmental impact? Well, Josh and Courtney, we actually have some good news here, and that's everyone that lives around this area drinks from city water. So that means this spill would not interfere with the water they're drinking. But experts do tell me that sinkhole and spill that happened just beyond the fence over my shoulder here could potentially make its way into Tampa Bay. First and foremost, it's not unusual to have sinkholes, especially in this area. As a civil and environmental engineering professor, Nicholas Albergo explains the major wastewater spill that followed this sinkhole isn't as common. It's never good to have a sinkhole, and it's certainly not good that one opened up underneath a wastewater pond. 2.5 million gallons of wastewater containing animal waste spilled after a sinkhole opened near the Congo River Rapids at the park. It looked like there was just dirt or soil surrounding uh, the water. Normally he sees retention ponds with a protective liner to prevent a spill like this. Oh, I didn't see anything that looked like like some kind of protective layer. Therefore, millions of gallons of wastewater drained underground. It doesn't necessarily present a huge risk to the surrounding area. And quite frankly, we get our drinking water from a much deeper depth. But the water must go somewhere, and it's possible the wastewater could end up in Tampa Bay. And that slope of the water under the ground actually does go towards Tampa Bay to Hillsborough River. But by the time it gets there, which will be a while, the water will be diluted. But it won't be the water from the pond anymore. That water is gonna be diluted millions of times. Leaving experts with little environmental concern. I would imagine therefore it won't be a, a big environmental issue. And experts telling me that the best way to move forward from here would be to fill that sinkhole with liquid concrete. I did ask state officials as well as officials with Bush Gardens what they plan to do, yet I have not heard back. I'm live in Tampa, Shannon Clow, 10 Tampa Bay.